like falling deeper. There I am, waking up around 8, I try to wake up around the same time, go to sleep around the same time. I start the day off, you know, after waking up, I don't have coffee straight away because I heard that was quite bad. So you can wait another hour or maybe two hours before you have your first cup of coffee. That's what I do nowadays. And then I'll try to fast until midday or 1 p.m. And until then, in the, in the first three, four hours of the day, I'm usually doing work and going to the gym but this day i actually didn't go to the gym until the afternoon beautiful spring day in korea and i'm walking to my favorite salad place which also happens to be the only salad place this is the place let's add an egg some egg salad more egg more protein chicken breast salmon perfect Bacon, oh my god, I think that's enough. Boom, boom. Okay, we have some salmon. My favorite ingredients, I usually just stock up on the proteins and basically make a salad into a fat meal. Just because you're having a salad doesn't mean you're, you know, eating lean. Start adding all this olive oil, balsamic sauce. Oh my days, but it did taste very, very good. And it's healthy, it's whole food, it's healthy, it's still a salad. But in terms of calories, yeah, it's probably quite high. The main thing that I want to say is for the first meal of the day, you almost want to keep it low carb or no carb. And that's going to make sure that you don't feel bloated or tired uh, and you can stay productive, stay active. You're up for stuff. And then in the evening when you're winding down, you can have carbs anyway because carbs kind of shut you down and you, your body's shutting down anyways, right? Then I go to hit the gym. This was a different gym. I was actually um, staying at a hotel. So this hotel gym didn't have a lot of equipment. So it just had this squat rack. So I decided, you know what? I haven't done back squats in so long. I might as well, you know, give it a try. So I warm up obviously with the lowest weights and then I, I, I do a, a few sets of back squats. But this wasn't like a the most typical workout for me but it, it was a lower lower body workout and because the squats felt really heavy I, I decided to you know do more sort of body weight variations with the pistol squat with some dumbbells on each hand and this is the ATG split squat what you see here the greatest hip flexor slash knee health exercise out there obviously invented I think by Ben Patrick and here's like a, a way you can stretch with it as well right and if you do this stretch that you see my god you will have never felt a stretch like that in your life so highly highly recommend that i actually ended i did um single legged romanians and a bunch of other stuff but the camera battery ran out then i went for a walk in my favorite part of seoul which is the riverside um yeah it was a beautiful sunset Lots of couples with blankets and sitting around. All right, guys, check this out. Out on a walk in Seoul by the river. Bello, eh? Very nice. I usually try to go for a walk before dinner. I find this is the best time, sort of after workout, before the big, big meal. But sometimes I'll go battleship. after dinner. Uh, usually not but sometimes I will if I feel like I'm up for it and the aim is to get 10,000 steps a day I don't always get it I usually hover around you know anywhere between 7,000 and, and 11,000 and that's good enough first thing is add a ton of water sardines and olive oil rumo spaghetti we have 254 calories in each no carbs and 22 grams of protein so we have 22 grams of protein in each so that's 44 grams of protein here use this so usually this is how most italian spaghetti starts is with a little bit of pepperoncino and, uh, and garlic usually you put a whole clove but we will put the minced version 
Make sure this whole thing melts. But you can use whole cloves of garlic. This is like frozen minced garlic. Cut them up into halves. Low heat, just infuse the olive oil with the garlic taste. And then we're gonna go in with these sardines and these tomatoes. We'll season it a bit and then, and look. The water is boiling. Obscene amounts of salt. However many minutes, what does it say? Nine minutes. So you take it out at minute seven and you finish cooking this pasta in the sauce. And if the pasta is looking a bit like white, like this, like flour, it's a good sign. And the texture is rough, which means it will hold on to the sauce. Unlike a lot of these cheap, smooth pastas. Twist, you go in with the rest of these. And then you just let it sit. We're gonna add some pasta water to it later, and that's good. The tomatoes have become kind of mushy, and all this sauce has come up. Like, this is delicious sauce. And then this is almost done. We're gonna combine it. This is how Italians make the sauce creamy, by adding pasta water. And when you bite it, it should be chewy, like it's not done yet. And this is the perfect time to take it out. Let's just let this sit for a bit. We're gonna have to combine it in the big pot because there's not enough space. Oh. And then the pasta just cooks with the sauce, with this sauce, just taking on all of that taste while it's cooking. So the pasta's undercooked right now. Now it's like the pasta water with this, and then you go in with a bit more extra virgin olive oil, and there you have it, a semi-authentic pasta. This is one of my go-to pastas when I want to eat. When I want to eat pasta, but don't want to skimp out on protein, because sardines, obviously, they have a lot of protein, but they also have a lot of fat. So it's very hard to make a high-protein pasta and not go high in calories. But sometimes you gotta because it just tastes so good. You, what, you're not gonna have pasta for the rest of your life? You probably are, right? So, you know, enjoy the pasta. This is why it's such a good idea to fast because if you fast in the beginning half of the day, then you can have a fat pasta and still not gain weight or even lose weight. But let me know if uh, videos like this interest you because it was, I haven't made vlogs in so long. It was kind of weird making this, but I hope you enjoyed it. And even though I'm a bit rusty, you know, thanks for all the love that you've been showing, guys. Bye-bye.